just my children and my wife. Thank my lucky stars to be living here today. Cause the flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away. What's up? And I'm proud to be an American. God bless the USA. Time to make Pound Town great again, guys. Tell Leroy to get off. No doubt I love this place. God bless the USA. Proud to be an American. Well, at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died, who gave that right to me. And I gladly stand up next to you. And her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this place. God bless the U.S.A. Everyone go to Twitter right now. Say we're live. Uh, Janela's own special Monday edition. Yeah. Belt God. This might be his, uh, his uh, last day of uh, ruling Pound Town because I got Trump coming on. I got Trump coming on, and he's gonna he's gonna give us the state of Pound Town address, guys. So you you guys think I'm lying? I'm not lying, guys. So. I have to do that in a few minutes. Belt God Gate. Belt God Gate 2020, guys. Hashtag Belt God Gate. Free Pound Town. Open up Pound Town, everyone. Open it up. Liberate Pound Town, everyone. It's time to make Pound Town great again, guys. I would never lie to you guys. We're about four minutes away from that. And uh, we're going to learn the status of Pound Town. If Nasty Leroy can open up his pro wrestling tea store this week. We're going to learn the status of the baby bacon bird painting. So. So we're going to we're going to learn. It's going to be great, guys. Maybe we'll even make make Pound Town Great Again hats, even though I don't think anyone would buy that. Because it looks like... Never mind. Let's get this little full in here before we uh, get things started. Okay. 
All right. We are waiting. Make Pound Town great again. What's up, guys? What's up? Free Pound Town, baby. Make Pound Town great again. We're all great patriots here. It is a Tracy Smothers fighting a bear shirt. Chris Hero, he's a good dude. China. I can't wait to hear it. China. Come on, guys. This is going to be great. Let's see if I can send the president a request. Uh. All right, Leroy. I'm going to go on with the president because I honestly don't trust you. To be honest right now, you'll learn the status through this great patriotic edition of Janela's own Monday night. Open up Pound Town, baby. Let's open it up. Let's open it up, guys. How much have I taken? I got it in gummy form. In gummies. Uh, I bought it at Vitamin Shop today, and uh, I feel great. I I can't even smell the coronavirus anymore around me, so it's great. It works. All right, we're getting ready. He's on here. We're getting ready to have him on. Guys, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Come on, guys. Are you guys ready? You guys are all great patriots, right? Those are hy hydroxychloroquine uh, gummies that I, be I bought at Vitamin Shop. So, we're coming on. We're getting them on right now. Leroy, I hope you're watching, buddy. There we go. Mr. President. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Joey. Good to see you. It's, it's really it's really great for you to come on here and do this for us. You know, the uh, status of Pound Town has been up in the air for many weeks now. Now that the con man, the belt fraud, the belt god, uh, claimed he owned Pound Town. He was the real mayor and he owned all the copyrights and trademarks to Nasty Leroy. Well, what do you the have good to news. Say? Well, the good news is that Pound Town is open again for business, and we're very happy about that because we were shut down for a while, and now it's looking tremendous. I think it's going to do fantastically well once we get going again. We're going to have a good third quarter, and then when we get to the fourth quarter, I think by next year it's going to be the greatest Pound Town has ever been in the history of Pound Town. That I can tell you. Matthew Leroy, he's watching right now, and he yeah. I, he's probably he's probably crying to be honest. He's gone through a lot in the last couple of weeks. He didn't know the status of his name. He didn't know if he was going to have to change his name. If he was going to, uh, you know, if he was getting evicted from his own pound town. What do you have to say to to Nasty Leroy? Well, Nasty Leroy, a lot of people don't know this. I've talked to a lot of people, and they love him. They think he's a tremendous guy, great guy, and he's actually someone I'm looking at very closely for my 2020 administration. Because I think he's been a tremendous mayor. He's done a great job. And I like what he's doing to Pound Town. And I think he's going to be, he's got a great future. Wow, that's, that's awesome to hear, Mr. President. And as far as the belt god, what do you have to say, what do you, what do you have to say about him? Uh, he's, not a, he's not a very good person. He's kind of uh, taking advantage of poor Nasty Leroy. Well, he's a nasty guy. He's a nasty guy, the belt god. He's a horrible person. And he doesn't have any talent. Everybody knows that. He's a flunky. He's a disgrace. He should be ashamed of himself. And that's why he's got a horrible reputation. And he's not going anywhere very quickly. And uh, it's sad to say because he could have changed his life, but he didn't turn it around. He's a total failure. And, uh, you know, I just got these, I got these gummies, the hydroxychloroquine yep. uh, gummies. 
Um, are, are these the ones you were taking? Those are the ones I took. I've been taking them regularly, and they're tremendous. These, the, the gummies are great because they taste very good, and it helps me protect me from the what I call the Chinese flu. You know, I call it the Chinese flu, right? And people yeah, say, yeah, why do you call China. it that? And I said, well, it's because it comes from China. It comes from China. Yeah. They said a wet market, which I thought was a strip club. I never heard of it. And then they said it came from Wuhan, which I now call Fluhan. But I've taken the, hy yes. the hydroxychloroquine is tremendous, and it's got great side effects. Yeah. Is there any way we can get a case sent over to the new liberated pound town just to protect Leroy and all the nasty hotties that come over? Absolutely. Yes, I will actually, I'll put Mike Pence in charge of it and he'll send over a couple, of a couple of cases for you guys because we want Pound Town to be safe, but we want it to open quickly because it's too great of a town. It's the greatest town. And so we're going to take care of you guys. More importantly than any other governor, we're going to take care of Pound Town and Nasty Leroy. I can tell you that. Thank you, Mr. President. This is Absolutely. Uh... We were Absolutely. opening up the Pro Wrestling Tea Store for Nasty Leroy this week. I think that, that that's what this means, right? Right, Mr. President? Well, absolutely. We're going to open the store. I think it's going to be a big store. And I think we should put a lot of great things inside. What do you think we should have in this store? Whatever you want, I think we should do it. Uh, I think a lot of maybe uh, make Pound Town great again hats. Oh, I love that. Make, yeah, keep uh, Pound Pound Town great again. Keep it great again. Make it great again, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, we'll have a few shirt designs how in about there. Let's, who else should we do? What else? Um, how about Fire Belt God? Or Belt God is a horrible person. Some T-shirts, some, something like about Belt God maybe we could do. Yeah, he's a horrible fraud. Right. The big fraud. Right? We call it the big fraud in fake news. Who? I don't know. I don't know who's worse. Who do you think is worse? Obama, in your mind, or, or Belt God? Well, Belt, it's Belt God Gate. That's what I call it, the Belt God Gate. Yeah, like Obama I think so. Gate. I Obama think so. was was horrible because he's an idiot, but Belkad is stupid and he's dumb and nobody likes him. He's not even likable. So I think he's worse, to be honest with you. And he's probably one of the worst people I've ever heard about, to be honest. And he's definitely what I call a Democrat, not a Democrat, a Democrat, because when I win, they're all going to shit their pants. That I can tell you. And one last thing before I let you go on, because I know Absolutely. you've had a long day. You've had a long week with all this stuff going on and you're all over the place the status of the baby bacon bird painting uh belt god you know he uh kind of just took it uh does it come back to pound town what do you think about the status of this painting does leroy deserve this painting does he deserve to hang it up absolutely absolutely don't you think he should have it i think he should have it i think he should have it he, absolutely but it i'm asking be you hanging Mr. Above, President. it should be hanging above his bed to be honest with you and I'm actually going to sign a declaration, an executive order, that that thing comes back immediately, ASAP, to Nasty Leroy, because he's got to have it. It's his. And the belt god is a total fraud. And he's going to get caught, just like Nancy Pelosi. He's getting caught. It's all coming back. It's all coming out. And he's going to be in a lot of trouble very quickly. Some people even like to say that, that the belt god is actually Nancy Pelosi in a, in a mask. Uh, that might be true. That might be true. That's what I. That's what I heard. It's just a rumor. I read it on uh, Infowars. I've heard that. I've heard that. I've also heard it might be Chuck Schumer. Chuck, Chuck Schumer. Schumer, with some sort of an outfit on. So we don't know about that. We've got to look at that very closely. Is there any way we can get Scooby Doo and the Mystery Gang to somehow maybe get Belt God, capture him, and tie him up and take the mask off to see if it is in fact Nancy Pelosi or Chuck Absolutely. Schumer? Absolutely. I think Scooby Doo would be tremendous. I mean, it's, if there's any dog I would have at the White House, you know that it would be Scooby-Doo. a great dog. Tremendous dog. He solved more crimes than anybody. I think that even our FBI, he's tremendous. All right. Thank you for coming on, Mr. President. I, I would like Absolutely. to have you on more in the coming weeks. As Absolutely. We're trying to, you know, we're great patriots here. We're great patriots here at the Janela Zone, and we would love to have you on and keep us updated on this whole coronavirus you know, the the flu from China. The China. It's China. We know that. Horrible China. China. Horrible country. Horrible country. And by the way, when I build my wall, a lot of people say, how big is the wall going to be? I said, well, very big. Bigger than bigger than any wall ever in the history of walls. And they said, what about the wall, the Great Wall of China? I said, the Great Wall of China is not even a big wall. It looks like a big wall because Chinese people are like three feet tall. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, um, maybe we could build a wall around the belt god's uh, house and uh, make sure he never gets out again. I think uh, we can get that going as well. Yes, absolutely. We should build a wall. Absolutely. And we'll, we'll keep him there. He won't be allowed to come over, believe me. He'll have to come over legally. And that's not going to happen because he's illegal. He's a bad hombre, what I call a bad hombre. All right. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Thank you for absolutely. coming on, President. Thank you. You're the best. We're patriots here. We'll talk again soon. Thank you, sir. I'll see you very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Take Thank care. you. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? What did I tell you guys? We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, I need to cheers guys. Wow. Wow guys. Unbelievable. Let's get Leroy on. Wow. Trump's not a bad guy at all, guys. We've been mistaken, Leroy. Look at us. Look at that smile on your face. First, we thought Aaron Carter was a bad guy at first. Now we realize he isn't. Tonight, we find out that Donald Trump is a fucking great guy. What do you have to say, Leroy? I appreciate, uh, Mr. President, uh, given, given. Cut a speech. Damn. Cut a speech. The pound Town is free again. It's liberated. We opened up Pound Town. Get up. Tell a speech. Show them All right, why you're a real say. patriot. So the, the, the mayor of Pound Town is now the official mayor. Uh, and not only the official mayor, merch is on the way. No more belt. God, get that out of here. No more Dwayne. Get him out of here. Get that bitter. Get that bitter fuck out of there, okay? This guy has been trying to make my life a living hell, trying to dig up st stuff. He's even in here now. Belt God, you can't do nothing now because the president says, I own Pound Town. I got the merch now. The Nancy team is mine. Oh my God. That means. Okay? And what I'm saying is everybody that goes to Pound Town, you get a complimentary. You get a complimentary, you know, protein powder when you taking girls to Pound Town. <coughs> what? Gym. Protein powder. You take them to the Yeah. Since protein when is broken, powder. I mean, I, dude, wait a second. Come back a second. When does protein powder enhance your sexual performance? Oh, no, this is not this is not for sexual performance. It's when you go to the Pound Town gym, you need to get that protein afterwards. Now, you use the pre workout. In a gym, you could also use it at the Pound Town Hotel for all your sexual experience needs, along with a blue chew. With a blue chew as well. Yeah. Uh, did you hear? And then, did, did you, know, you hear what they're setting to your place? The vitamins. Hydroxychloroquine gummies. Gummies. And gummies. To protect you and, uh, from the corona COVID 19, to protect all the nasty hotties from COVID 19. Th things are going great right now, Leroy. Things are going great. Pound Town's a back, officially back. We'll get that. We'll get the merch going soon. We get. We got the Nancy team is back. We getting new logos. We back and better than ever. That Nancy man is back. Oh man, Free Pound Town is now officially the new mayor. Of Pound Town is that Nancy man. You already know I'm taking people to to. If you want to go to Pound Town, I'll show you the Pound Town studio. Oh, we can make movies with you and your lady. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, shit. My window's open. I smell a little bit of uh, COVID coming in the room. Fuck. It smells like COVID. See? I have a taste. It kind of tastes like a combination of salt and vinegar chips. Mmm. Rat poison, mm. um, semen. I know you know what that tastes like. Yeah, I don't. I'm just speculating that this is what <laughs> semen tastes like, and um, and uh, dead guinea pigs. Mm. 
But yeah, well, besides you know, that, it's pretty good. It's protecting me. I feel strong right now. The belt guy, I see him in the chair. He said, I'm going to take care of this. Listen, it's now my town. I own the city. I own the city town. See you soon, Leroy. Listen, you ain't going to see nobody. But the wall, like Trump said. The wall and you know what I'm going to see? Sweet walls. I'm going to see them lady sing it, walls. Sing it, sing it, baby. I don't be seeing them lady walls. All them sweet lady walls. All them sweet lady walls. Are we talking about uh, lady walls or we're talking about the wall that Trump is going to build around Belgium? Well, I'm going to see both walls. I'm going I'm to see, see Trump wall and get the block the bell guy in. And I'm going to see them sweet lady walls. And Nancy Hotties is going to be all around the city. They're going to be at my. Pound Town Lounge. They're going to be at my Pound Town Lounge and restaurant where you can get the best food in Pound Town. You can they stay multiple days at Pound Town Theme Park. You can have fun at the Pound Town Theme Park. And, you know, I am going to be yet, like Donald Trump said, I am going to be yet a great mayor like I was in 2020. So like I am going to be in 2021 and – in all the four years and the years coming. So, for this. Man, Trump, dude, he really surprised me tonight. We had a little, we had a couple emails. I, I, um, you know, I emailed back and forth with some of his representatives. Um, you know, uh, we tried to get Dr. Fauci on, but uh, Trump said, uh, unfortunately, Dr. Fauci, you know, he had to, he had an early bedtime, as he said. So he wouldn't be able mm -hmm. to make it on here. Mm. Do you so know who Dr. They, Fauci is? Uh, isn't it the one that tried to help Nipsey Hussle? <laughs> what? You could be right. Well, I don't know why I'm laughing. I thought he just wanted to hate you. What do you mean? Nasty team. What's the bell guy saying? The bell guy saying the nasty team will be overthrown, not be overthrown. Hey, listen. You guys are not in the Nash team no more. I'm even the fucking leader. Wait. That man. Wait, go back. Go back a second. What does Dr. Fauci have to do with Nipsey Hussle? I could be wrong. I could be completely fucking wrong, and you could be right, but. I heard he was going to help Nipsey Hussle. That's what I heard before he died. Can someone look up if that's true? That's what I heard. The bell guy's over here saying, oh, yeah, the, uh, uh, the Nash team is not going to be thrown over the Hey, listen. Bell guy, you're not in the Nash team no more. You are gone. You are finito. You are you are out of here. <laughs> you out of here. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. You out of here. Wait, what doctor tried to help out Nipsey Hussle? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it was Dr. Fauci, but. <laughs> you were talking about Dr. Cerebi? Yeah, that doctor, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were out of the quote. I don't have no quote. It's a legendary quote. That's like a legendary quote for Twitter. <laughs> Leroy, do you know who Dr. Fauci is? Isn't he the one that tried to help out Nipsey Hussle? <laughs> Holy shit. Dr. Dre. Hey, hey, do you know my my uh, my new member of the Nancy team? Not the cult, the new Nancy team. Uh, Vaughn is is offered to beat down uh, and fight uh, the belt guy in a in a in a in a fight. And he's got the contract and everything. He said, "This accept the challenge, belt guy. Vaughn wants to fight you, but we know he don't want none of these hands. He don't want any of these hands of Big Vaughn out here." With no one, I have no idea who the fuck you're talking about, Leroy. Who is Vaughn? He's in the comments. He's in the comments. Isn't Vaughn that little girl you tried to get go on a date with and she turned you down? No, that's not that. That's a different Vaughn. Oh, that's another Vaughn. Yeah, this is Vaughn. Vaughn and Vaughn we trust. That's the one. He's in here. Maybe we'll talk to him later. Okay, get him on here later. But yeah. So I think I have, yeah. more, I have more celebration celebration. Also, I got more special guests coming in tonight. Yeah, I want to see the special guests. I want to watch these special guests, Let's but I just want to celebrate. See. This is a celebration tonight. 
I just want to celebrate that man. We have in the second hour, we have a dude coming on. <laughs> We got a we got a big time actor coming on, guys. A big oh, time yeah? actor, huge actor. Oh, big yeah. time actor coming on on uh, hour number two of Janela Zone on the special Monday celebration edition. Celebration. You guys, well, you guys will love to see who I have coming on. And it's coming out of left field, and it's it's a home run to be honest. This is a perfect song for this. All right, let's go. I'm going to dance to this one. Three, two. This is in my playlist on YouTube. Get the microphone. The microphone? Okay. Perfect song, actually. Hit it. Sing it, Leroy. If I leave you tomorrow, will you still remember me? For must be traveling on now. So I but if I stay with you, girl, think I couldn't be the same. But I was free as a bird. Actor is from Tennessee. And that's uh, about all I can give out about him. I think I'm play another one. Hold on. All right, come back, dude. Yeah, Celebration. Three, two, one. Hold on. I'm going to switch up the lyrics for this one. Well, oh God, I don't miss you. Thank you. 
I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. What the do. fuck? I don't know why I did that. Okay, huh? What are you doing, Leroy? Oh, this is this is this is this is for Leo. Celebration. What do I do? Two songs for Leo. For little Leo. This is a warning for you when you go one on one with that man. I got my town back, and now I'm gonna take him to a special town. I beat downtown. Maybe fair warning. What? One more too. I think he knows this song. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing, oh, oh. Leroy? All right, all right. I gotta play this one time. This could be do this one time. I didn't go through all this work for this. <laughs> You know what it is. <laughs> it's sweet. We ain't playing with you, little Leo. He ain't either. I'm new, so I like to do this. Don't be fucked with. You heard him. It's up. And that's Leo. They gonna get him. Yeah. Ice cold. They going in the hall of pain. Leroy's ice cold tonight. Oh my god. I picture the night ending like the scene in Scarface when Scarface is sitting at the fucking table with the mountain of cocaine in front of him. Oh, that's me? Yeah. What's that? That's you. Well, not the picture that Belt God has of you blowing lines. A fictional picture. Just of you feeling uh, powerful, I'm trying to say. All right, I think... I guess that's it. That's it. That's it. I'm not gonna do that no more. That's it. That's it for that song. I thought we were only playing one more song, and then you played four songs. The last right, one was good. good. That was a good. That was a good troll maneuver. The the throw some gasoline on the fire against Leo Rush, yeah. and you just keep on going. I, I those was, those was only two songs for that for that one. I just think it's too early for this. Give us the other camera angle. Huh? Give us the other camera angle. Change it up. I'm done. It was just getting good. You know what? I got it. It's not for Leo. This is when I come to AEW. They know where I'm going to be at. Like. 
Yes, that's me. That man. Take a seat. I have a question okay. for you. Uh huh. I don't mean to rain on the parade, Leroy. But earlier today, on Instagram, you put out a graphic of you, a fan made graphic of you being in the the AEW casino ladder match. Yeah. But at first, you try to pass it off. Like you're actually in the match. Yeah. Uh, but then you changed the you changed the caption of it. Yeah. W why did you do that? Because I don't want to know think I'm actually there. No, at first, you know. no, at first you tried to betray that you were actually the ninth entrant in the ladder match when you were not. That was not. I was campaigning at first. But you weren't campaigning. You just put out the graphic, the fan-made graphic, and kind of just put it out there that you were in the ladder match, which you weren't. Yeah, I know. You said stop. And I was like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it. Why did you do that? I thought it was a good graphic, you know. You could have wrote a caption like, imagine. I could have. Hashtag you know, imagine I, if this was true. I should have wrote that. This is why I need a social media manager. What if? What if it was the nasty one? Yeah, that's why I should have, should, should have done that. So. Did you get yelled at? Nobody yelled at me. I didn't get no text. Well, you're uncontrollable right now. No one's going to text you. You're, untou you wanna, you're you untouchable, eat. to be honest. It was a Nasty Nation member, and uh, and I just need I, – you know what? I need just help. Being your, just being your, basically your, your social media father. I just thought it was just strange. Yeah, I just need somebody to be my social media manager. So, so the, for what? Because I, because I don't know how to put the caption. I should have put the caption. Could you imagine? This was the social media version of you jumping in the match that one time in Georgia. Yeah, and I was like, man, I was like, man, that everybody gonna think I'm in there. I was like, let me change it because I don't want. What if Big Biceps Tony Khan saw that post? That would not be good. That'd be it. Yeah. He hired Joe Alonzo. No, Joe Alonzo offered though, but like I'll take his advice. I might have him as my social media manager. I don't know. What do you think about that? No. All right. I just get somebody to be my No, they're not going to blame me for this. They're just saying. I'm just telling Leroy right now that what he posted, there was people under the picture going, congratulations, Leroy. Awesome. Yeah. And I was, like, I was trying to, then I was like, all right, lady, you know what? QT Marshall said he thought he was your manager. You, you are you are my coach and my manager. When I'm talking about social media manager, like you know, wait, oh, both of you guys are my manager. How many people like, have you know, offered to be your manager? 
It was only this, it was only you and, and you you and QT. Cause he was helping and the me. Belt God. Oh yeah, he was my manager at first and, and stuff. And that was the only people. Is there any is there any other names we should add to the list of managers for Leroy? Well Yeah, so I used to ask for permission to tweet out certain stuff. So from QT, correct? Yeah, yeah, from QT. And like I had other people, uh, I had other people uh, managing me, or want to manage me and stuff. So Joe Alonzo offered, you know. Told him I'm. I woke up. I went. No, actually, I woke up at like ten o'clock, way too early. I went to sleep at like six. I woke up at like nine thirty. I I went back to sleep, and then I woke up, and I went to Instagram. And what did I see? What was the first thing I saw on Instagram? My picture. Was. We need to get you a fucking tripod. Fuck, fuck the manager. Fuck getting you a manager. We need to get you a fucking tripod. I got a tripod. What? I got a tripod. I'm, I'm charging my phone, but I can't charge it on my you tripod. You have a tripod? This whole it's time? like a camera tripod. It's a it's a it's a camera tripod. A camera tripod for your phone or your camera? For my for for the camera. What the fuck does that have to do with your phone falling over? <laughs> oh, it's my phone falling over because I had my charger uh, on here. Can you plug your phone into the ca the the camera tripod? That's right. Block the camera. Right, stop holding. I got it. I got it. Hold on. Unplug my phone charger, but it's like Give me a trap. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, keep on trying. Keep on trying. Keep on trying, Leroy. Leroy, keep on trying. All right, hold on. Leroy, try the tripod one last time. I chose the 10 hour version of the Jeopardy song that just plays for 10 hours straight, just in case if it takes 10 hours. This is uh, teaching everyone out there, if you're gonna try, don't give up. Don't ever surrender, guy.
Are we good? We're good. Jesus fucking Christ, man. I can't uh, follow him over. Jesus fuck. You know what? You know what? What? Give me, give me a second. Just give me a second. I'm looking to see if I like it. Let me look at it from this angle. Just sit there. Move to the middle. I don't like it. My God. I don't like it. I don't like the angle, dude. You look like a midget. I'm not a midget. Well, from this from this height, I look like I'm looking at I'm in Andre the Giant's eyes, looking at a, a, a normal sized human. I don't like it. I'm sorry, dude. It makes you look like a child. That's right. What do you want me to do? I didn't like it. I didn't like it. He worked hard on it. What are you doing with it? Throwing it in the trash? Oh, come on. I didn't like it. I liked the old one better. I wanted to see if it worked. Leroy. Hmm? Leroy, what the fuck? This is better. Why are you sad about it? I'm not. You're sad. You're sad about it. I wanted to see how it looked. I didn't know it was going to take you at, uh, 30 minutes to set up a tripod. Did you throw it in the garbage? No, I just put it outside. Why didn't why why did you put it outside? It's my dad's stuff, so I'm sorry, Leroy. I didn't mean to do it. It's alright. You wanna try it again? Nope. Okay. Well, this Big is Ed not is even live, a classic. Bro. Big Ed is live? Yeah. Well, we got... Come on, dude. Stop. You're making everyone sad in here. It's supposed to be a celebration today. I must Pound say. Town is free. The belt fraud is, is belt free. fraud. What? He is a belt fraud. Yeah, but you're sitting there. You, you look like a sad puppy dog. I must say. I just didn't like the angle, and a lot of people in the chat agreed with me. They agreed with me. Okay, you didn't like the angle. It, is what it, is. it looked like you were a fucking kid. It, it looked like I was a teacher in some kind of fucking movie looking down at a child. A naughty kid that wasn't doing their work and was throwing gum in the girl's hair in front of him. I'm celebrating. <laughs> Thank you.
Should we go to Big Ed's? The boss of Pound Town, the mayor. Yo, Leroy. Leroy. What? You want to go to Big Ed's Instagram Live and fuck with this dude? Yeah, let's go. You know who this is? No, I have no idea. Oh, everyone, write write the, his name in the um. Write the name in the uh, deal. Write his username in here. Is he from like that show you always be watching? Yeah. What, 90 Day Fiance? Yeah, let's all rate it. Okay. This is Big Ed. It's This is Big Ed. Let's all go in there and let's just bombard him and get Leroy in there to do the nasty swing from This right, is I'm Big happy. Ed. Let's uh, swarm this deal. Damn, we closed this out. We closed this hour out good. This is a good hour. I'm saving this one on my page. This is right, the cool. first one I ever saved on my page because I think it was all killer, no filler for an entire hour. Don't don't scare yeah. Big Ed. Don't call him a child predator or whatever. Just what? Just get Leroy in there. I, I'm not calling him nothing because I don't know nothing about him. Just say you're gonna dance. Do the same thing you did for Aaron Carter last night. Yeah, I'm gonna just do the next swing. All right, let's go. All right. <laughs>